Okay, this video is for everyone who wish to learn how to start winter swimming. So I figured what better place to do it than in the ocean water in which all of you will have to endure the wonderful and healthy freezing temperatures. So how do you start winter swimming? How do you begin this awesome task, especially if you've never done it before? Very simple. As the summer ends, now it's September, you come to the beach every day. If you cannot come every second or third day, and you get into the water and you swim. The water, if you live in the northern hemisphere where there's four seasons, will start to get cold gradually, which is perfect for you and your body. And it's ideal conditions to get yourself gradually accustomed to the colder temperatures. That's how you do it. That's a simple trick. Right from the end of the summer, you continue swimming. There is no better way that I have found, and I live in Canada, so we had a really tremendous summer this year. Uh, and I can honestly tell you I've lost all my cold water resistance, as basically I do every summer. When the summers are warm, your capillaries, your uh, body just simply adapts to the warm uh, conditions and you lose. I, I've lost all my cold water resistance as, as I've said. But what I do have is basically the advantages of knowing what to expect from cold water, knowing what my limits and tolerance levels are. So that's my plus. But for you, it's a period to discover all these things. So that's what you do. You do gradually come every day, every second or third day to the beach. And keep swimming, keep swimming as the water cools down. You will simply decrease the time that you swim, but at the same time you start to learn how to push your uh, push push your time, stay longer in the water. Don't overdo it, of course, the first year. In fact, very first year, whether it's a lake or the ocean, you just may want to stick around uh, in the water for no more longer than 30 seconds. You just basically dip your body into the water and then 30 seconds you get out. Maybe that's the best way to do it. That's the way I did it for the first year. And then as the second, third year, you will learn about your limits. You will learn how your body responds to cold water and off you go. But the key is gradual uh, to be gradually submerged, to, to expose your body gradually to the cold. And as the season, as the summer goes in to the fall and into the winter, it's a perfect, natural, uh, gradual immersion again into the cold water. That's the trick. Number one thing you wanna get yourself, and that's why cold water swimming is not a very expensive sport unless you look far away from the ocean and that's, then your main expense is the gasoline to get there. But one thing you wanna get for yourself is a watch that has a timer, basically, so you time yourself. And preferably, now those watches are a little bit more expensive, uh, that has a temperature gauge. So you can basically measure the temperature, although you can get that separately and just take it with you, hang it on your neck, on a rope, and that's it. You need temperature in the watch, and off you go, get healthy. You will never get sick as you start winter swimming and cold, exposing yourself to cold water. All right, we got a big wave coming. My entire camera is now in water and it's not waterproof at all but again i think i've said everything that needs to be, needed to be said enjoy enjoy your cold water swims good luck get healthy and till next video